What's up guys, Casper here. Starting the year off right with a tutorial about motion tracking and Buju and all this other fancy stuff. So, alright, let's get started. So first off, what you want to do is get After Effects, Buju, and Cinema 4D. The version I have for Cinema 4D is 12. I have 13, but I don't really like it. So, alright. So, let's start off going to After Effects. And then I have a clip here that pretty much just goes like, let me try and kill some of the quality so it's smooth. It's just kind of like a slow pan on uh, underground or something. I don't know. I uh, also trimmed it a little bit so I didn't get the buttons and the spectating thing. So, okay. So what you want to do from here, get your clip, put it in After Effects. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, just grab it right there or right click, import file, find your file, and then take it, drag it into a new comp. I already did this, obviously, so I have no need to do it whatsoever. Um, I'm just putting the resolution on a little bit lower right now. It, no, no matter what, when you render it, it will still be full. So if you put it on quarter right now, it will be full. This is just so you, it can actually be smooth. So I have my clip. It's all good. So what you need to do is go to composition add to render queue let me get rid of those right now uh, output module click on lossless then go from format to tiff sequence I feel like Buju reads this a lot better than JPEG because I tried JPEG and tiff and tiff works the best for me so click OK uh, on best settings click that uh, make sure your frame rate is 30 or under. So if it's 29.97, make sure it's 29.97. And I'm going to use 30. Even though my uh, comp was originally 59.94. So, yeah. So I'm going to click OK. Name it something you want. I'm going to output it to a certain place. I'll do a different one. New folder. Uh, tut or toot yeah so create make sure you do a new folder because this makes a ton of files so I'm going to click save and then render now it should render pretty quickly I hope it does I hope it doesn't take a while because that would just be really weird and bad because I'm recording right now and uh, it would not be starting the new year off right you know um, yeah so this method right here applies pretty much to anything Mac and PC. Uh, obviously, I have a Mac, but uh, it'll work the same principles on PC. Just remember, if I say Command and then click or Command or whatever, it's Control on PC. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this is the best method I like to use. It's a popular method, the way I'm doing it. But uh, yeah, it works. That's all I really care about. And uh, my new series, what really pisses me off, is coming out soon. I'm still editing. Yeah. So, oh, all right, so it's done. Don't even need After Effects anymore. Quit it if you want. I'm not going to save because I already have it saved. So, just wait for it to cancel. All right, now, moving on to Buju, which is a ladybug right there. So what you want to do in Buju is click Import Sequence. Then it'll bring all this good stuff up. I'm going to go to desktop, tut, find your first file, click open, change your frame rate to the frame rate which you rendered in, out of, out of, out of, uh, <laughs> change the frame rate which you rendered your files in in After Effects or what you recorded in. If it's 29.97, make sure it's 29.97. If it's 30, 30, 59.94, use that. Uh, I like to bump it down to 30 just because YouTube's better like that. Click apply. Once it loads up here, make sure you click the frame rate and go back to your thing again. So mine was 30. Apply. And close. Okay, so now we're in Buju. We can see it's going, all that good stuff. Alright, so that's my thing. Just make sure I remember it like jumped over here before. Whatever. Alright, so I'm going to click track features. All frames, sequence 1. Uh, you can actually do make it more sensitive if you want. I prefer not to. You can just adjust right there. 
And as you see, more points will come up. It takes longer for it to do uh, do its thing with more. So I'm just going to keep it at normal right there and start. This right here takes the longest out of everything. Um, it's not really that bad on short clips, though. So, I mean, it's really fine. I don't really see a problem in the speed and all that. And uh, apparently i got to talk for another... 30 seconds because that's when it's supposed to finish. As you can see here, it'll say the time where it's supposed to finish right here. Um, yeah, so 2012, man. Whatever happens in December of December 21st or whatever, I honestly don't care anymore because it's not like I can stop it. So, yeah, making small talk. What's up? Alright, so that's done. It's going to do this little finishing thing and save it because uh, it's so nice. Now you want to go back to the first uh, frame, just drag your little thing over, and then click Camera Solve. Now make sure it's on Sequence 1 and Optimize, ca optimize Camera Path Smooth. Ugh. Click that button, <laughs> then click Start. Now this should take a lot less time and 86% seems to always get stuck on for me but I just kinda move fast moved fast alright so as you see here it has all these different points you can just go along make sure all your points stay throughout um, I don't know if any of you have this problem but I used to have this problem before I don't know how I fixed it I just kind of uninstalled and reinstalled Buju. Um but on here it came up with multiple camera solves and as I move along the frames like these would disappear and another thing would reappear and it was just really confusing not sure how to get that back to just one solve but if you do let me know cuz it'd be pretty cool if you figured it out but alright so now we're here we wanna add a test object and obviously the ladybugs pretty much nowhere so delete that close that scene geometry click that now we want to add coordinates from hint Alright, so we're going to do the x-axis here, which x-axis is left to right, so we're doing left to right in our scene. So I'm going to click this button right, or this point right there, then hold command or control, and click there. Connects, uh, yeah, connect to selected, two tracks connected, then add coordinate from hint, change it to the z-axis, and z-axis is... Uh, front to back, so flat front to back. Okay, so I'm going to pick, say, this point right there, and hold control or command that point right there. Connect to selected, add coordinate from hint. You can either do the y axis if you want, but I don't really feel like it's necessary for this. And then I'm going to do the origin. You always have to have an origin, so I'm going to click that point right there. And connect to selected, update coordinate frame, click that a few times. Yeah, just so it, make sure you get it. And then add test object. Oh, perfect. That's exactly where I want my ladybug. Ladybird. Let's change that to a plane. Oh, I want that plane. I want a pyramid. Alright, so either way, that's good. So I can close that. Click that, actually. Add test object. Delete. Click that. Delete. Close. Alright, so now we want to export it. Export camera solve. Now we want to change it to whatever you want. I'm using Cinema 4D. That's what I'm going to use. So that's what I'm going to pick. I'm going to choose the name which I want to save it as. Uh, Tut C4D. And then on Scale Scene By, you want to change that to 100. Then click Save. Really got to put 100 there. You can't really F with that. All right, we're done with Buju. I don't need it. Moving on, Cinema 4D, file, open. This is R12, by the way. All right, so tut, tut, c 4 d dot c 4 d open. Now it's going to say scale by whatever, centimeters 10. Leave it, whatever you come up with, leave it as. On 11.5, uh, it'll just come up with like 10 or 1, just keep it. Click OK. As you can see, it'll play. Our one point will stay stationary and the rest will just you know kinda keep doing their thing so I'm gonna expand that bring that back 
make a new material by double clicking or file new material double click the new material get rid of specular on color click this button right there the three dots go to desktop or wherever you saved your thing go into your folder with all your tiffs so mine's under tut click the first one open no double click your picture go to animation calculate calculate make sure the movie frame rate is correct so that's a big thing if it's not then you want to fix that so calculate alright we're good now we're gonna do where is it no click and hold the light and background select that take your material drop it onto the background and as you can see your point stays on the place where you wanted it. So I'm making sure it doesn't skip like it did before. That's good. All right, so I'm actually going to cut the frames down a little bit. I'm going to do up to 90. And yeah, so I want to put some text there, let's just say. So I'm going to go to MoGraph, uh, Mo Text, and it'll start like that's the origin. So that's where the thing goes. That's where the text goes. So I'm going to change the align to middle, click R to rotate, rotate this about 90 degrees, so it looks about right, and uh, then as we play through, the text is just staying in that one spot, perfect. That's exactly what we want. Alright, and the text flickered there because it was rendering it out a little bit. So, alright, now I can just change the text to whatever I want, I'm going to make it say Casper. change the font something happy killerish T to scale then I'm gonna put a little material on my text just add a nice blue material okay so if I render it out it looks good yeah but it kind of looks like it's floating there, like no shadows and all that. So what you want to do from there is click the light button, get a light, uh, go back to your this tool, <laughs> selection tool, drag that out a little bit, and then click the light, click the type, actually not the type, uh, click shadow, shadow map soft, and then want to make a plane, which is under the cubes, uh, T so that you can scale it make it bigger take your material from the background control or command drag it onto the plane so if you render it out you'll be like alright it's pretty good but the plane is like the only thing that's really affected and uh, yeah sorry I had to throw away my little mouse pad it sucks um, <laughs> Yeah, so you like the plane is like shown. So you want to right click on the plane, Cinema 4D tags, compositing, uh, composite background, render it. Oh, that looks good, but I feel like I should extend it more. That way it doesn't look completely bad. There we go. That's perfect. The P obviously is not perfect because. It's just bad, but that's the problem you run into with letters like P. You can have it just chilling up there, but render it out. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, so see, you can just do it like that. And after you're done with everything here, you make it made it perfect. You want to render it out. You want to go to your render settings. Actually, you know what we could do? No, we can just keep it. Uh, effect, ambient occlusion. Uh, that should be fine. It helps with the uh, shadows. You can add global illumination if you want. If you want it really good and you have a great computer, you want to go to high, high. But and uh, for animation, IR QMC full animation. And then save. Save it as QuickTime movie or whatever you really want to save it as. Then put in After Effects and render it out like that, and you're done. Um, anti is saying that's uh, re uh, reflections. I don't have any on my text, so so that's pretty much it, guys. Just render it like a movie, and then drag in After Effects and do what you want with it. 
So if I go back again, you'll see it. It doesn't look like it's moving. It looks like something's screwed up here. But if you render it out, and I'm actually going to turn off global illumination so it can render faster. No, I don't want to render it. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, stop. Jeez. Uh, that button. It's still perfect. Don't worry, it just looks like that because of the uh, plane. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, like, all that great stuff. New series coming out soon. And happy 2012. Hope it brings good luck, good fortune, and all that good stuff. Alright, peace.